Hey, what's good, YouTube? My name's Dewan Lightfoot. Um, so the question I've been getting asked a lot lately with all these changes in networking is, has the CCNA lost value? Man, <laughs> straight up, to be honest with you, Cisco is like the Lakers of networking. You know what I mean? Whether the Lakers win or lose, they still winning. You know what I mean? Everybody knows the Lakers, no matter where you go in the world. And so Cisco is one of those companies in IT that has that type of value. Now, when it comes to the CCNA, no, it. in my opinion, I believe like the CCNA is the most valuable or let's not say the most valuable, but let's say it has the most ROI return on investment when it comes to certification. And I say that because you spend about what, $500 um, to self-certify yourself for the CCNA. And that's with training, material, time, and all that stuff. And let's go a little bit higher. Let's say even $1,000 on getting your CCNA. And once you get that certification, now you build your soft skills, you build your network, you put yourself out there, get your resume, keep improving yourself, and eventually you land a job making about 40, 50, maybe even 60, close to $70,000. And that's been proven time at the time in the industry. And especially on my channel, I've talked to so many people and helped so many people achieve that, that I know it's possible no matter where you are, whether it's a small town or a large town, it's all about how you market yourself and do the things that I just mentioned. So I think the issue with the CCNA and one of the reasons that Cisco has made this transition to have one CCNA that is more of a foundational cert is because there's so much talk about you get your CCNA and that's all you need and it's like a ticket to $100,000, but that's not the case and at all that's not the case there's so many other variables and so many other things you have to apply to your life to achieve success in it but i disregard so back to the point of why cisco made this transition is because you need a more rounded skill set you need to understand firewalls you need to understand network monitoring you need to understand network programmability. You need to understand containers. You need to understand virtualization. IT is changing. You need to understand the cloud, wireless. So just getting your standard route switch CCNA, it, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to compete with somebody that has a more rounded skill set that let's say, and not even comparing the CCNA and Network Plus, but let's say the Network Plus is more of a general cert that teaches you more general information than the CCNA. Although the CCNA is gonna teach you how to troubleshoot Cisco equipment, which also gives Cisco another leverage when it comes to certification because they have a they have like the largest market share when it comes to hardware in environments in the industry, period. So that's one of the reasons that Cisco CCNA has so much value because so many um, vendors and employers have invested in Cisco hardware. So they need someone to come in that knows how to support the equipment that they have. Now that's where things get hairy though, because I say come into the environment and then support the equipment that they have, which is Cisco equipment. But if you pay attention to what's going on around you, a lot of companies are offloading applications, so, uh, applications and infrastructure to the cloud. So things are changing. Not to scare anybody. I mean, you're still going to need some type of switch, some type of router, some type of, some type of um, firewall like on-premise to be able to VPN into the cloud. So someone has to support that, but you need a, a, a more rounded skill set to be able to, to support these public hybrid and private cloud environments. You know what I mean? So 
to get back to the point of this video, has the CCNA lost value? Um, I don't think it's lost value, but I think even training vendors like schools and private training companies have looked at the quality of the CCNA and some of them have actually shifted from offering the CCNA because they want to have the best, I would say, um, career set to offer students that come into their training courses. Because if you're offering the CCNA, which is hard for one, it's not an easy certification at all. And so if you spend three to six months getting the CCNA and you still don't have everything you need, that that kind of discourages a lot of people and it can discredit you know your training environment so i think in that sense people were kind of like i don't know about the ccna but i think now that cisco has shifted to say you know what we're gonna make the ccna a foundational shirt because before and i know i'm kind of going back and forth but before the change in my opinion the ccna was like a bachelor's degree in a, 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 a fifth of the time you, you get what i'm saying like it's you can make the same with a bachelor's degree in the ccna you spend 30 40 50 000 on the bachelor's and you spend a thousand dollars on the ccna you know what i mean and so now i think the ccna will be more like a associate's degree which which it should be it should be like an entry level cert to get you in um i think it makes sense now they say it's supposed to be more in depth and even harder. Man, that's that's gonna be a tough one because the CCNA is not an easy exam to study for, especially for someone new. So I'm interested to see how this actually plays out. But either way, I think the CCNA is still the best um, return on investment when it comes to certification. Hands down, there's no other certification that compares when it comes to entry level now i can mention some others but we're not comparing certification i'm just saying i'm just saying from what i've seen you know what i mean because there are some other great entry level certification and i will make a, a video to discuss that because i think that's a topic that needs to be discussed as well whatever whatever you do you know don't allow these changes in the industry to discourage you keep going do your own research don't just take what i say in a video or a blog post and say that's gold do your own research to find out what your actually market what your local market actually demands because it may not be the ccna that jobs are looking for and the way you can do that is by just doing job searches and looking for the certification and requirements that they're asking for do let's say do 50 of them and then take the top 50 50 requirements and those are the skills you need and those are the search you need to focus on for the jobs that you want i hope you found this video informative and i'll catch you on the next one good luck out there 2020 is going to be an excellent year i'm excited but we're going to enjoy the rest of this year as well peace